Finding Joy in Life by Paramhans Yogananda and uh, I think this was written in October 1936, almost 80 years ago. You want a thing as long as you are not able to get it. When you have secured it, sooner or later you will tire of it and then you will want something else. Have you ever tried to find that will or the wisp of something else which you seek at the end of all accomplished desires? No matter what you seek, you must seek it with joy, in expectation of having joy by possessing it. And you must feel joyous when, you're, when you actually get it. When seeking different things directly or indirectly, when seeking different things directly or indirectly, in reality, you are seeking joy. When seeking all things, it is really joy that you seek through all these things and the fulfillment of all desires. then why not seek joy directly? Why seek it through the medium of material desires and material things? You do not want those things in life which bring you sorrow. Neither do you want those things which promise a little joy in the beginning, but sink you in deep remorse and suffering in the end. Why seek joy by supplicating the favor of short-lasting material things? Why depend upon short-lasting short material things for short-lasting joys? Material things and fulfillment of material desires are short-lasting. Therefore, all joys born of them are short-lasting. Joys born of eating, smelling fragrance, listening to music, beholding beautiful objects and touching pleasing things are short-lasting. They last only as long as the sensations born of the, sta of the states of taste, smell, hearing, sight and touch last. You do not want a tantalizing joy. You do not want a transitory joy which brings sorrow in its trail. You crave joy which will not disappear like the sudden flicker of gasomer wings beneath the flash of lightning. You should look for joy which will shine forever steadily like the ever luminous radium. Neither do you want a joy which has too much sameness. You want a joy which changes and dances itself in many ways to enthrall your mind and keep your attention occupied and interested forever. Any joy that comes by starts, by fits and starts is tantalizing. Any joy that is monotonous, of course tiresome. Any joy that only comes for a little while and brings sorrow at last is undesirable. Any joy that comes for a little while then flits away, <coughs> sinking you in a state of indifference and thus deepens the state by contrast is torturing. The joy that rhythmically changes all the time like the different poses of an actor and yet remains unchangeable in itself is what all of us are seeking. Such joy can only be found through regular deep meditation. Such an ever new, unchangeable fountain of joy alone can quench our joy, joy thirst. If nature gave to us all at once everything we wanted, wealth, power and lost friends, we would sooner or later get tired of all of these. But one thing we can never get tired of and that is joy itself. By its very nature, ever new joy is the only thing that can never tire the mind or make it want to exchange joy for something else. In the pursuit of evil or good, you are always seeking joy. The former promises joy and gives sorrow, the latter promises sorrow, but will surely give lasting joy in the end. Lasting, ever new joy is God, and when you have found him, you have the eternally elusive wisp of the will, something else which you always seek at the end of all fulfilled desires. Finding this something else, you will not seek any further. Finding this avenue joy, you will find everything in it that you ever sought. Material objects which give joy remain outside of the mind. They only gain entry into the mind through imagination. Joy, from its very nature, is something born out of the mind and lives clo closet, closest closest in it. External material objects can be destroyed, but this joy within 
can never be destroyed if one knows how to keep it and unless the possessor if one knows how to keep it and unless the possessor of joy changes his mind and becomes sorrowful this joy is ever new and indestructible do not seek joy through material mediums or desires born of such contrast seek the unconditioned indestructible pure joy within yourself and you will then have and you will then have found the ever conscious ever new joy god this joy is not an abstract quality of the mind but it is conscious self born and is the conscious self expressing quality of spirit seek it and be comforted forever when you have attained this ever new joy you will not have become a cynic hating everybody rather it is then that you will find that you will be in a position fit to enjoy everything rightly as an immortal child of god you are supposed to enjoy everything with a lasting attitude of your eternal nature of perpetual joy people who enjoy material things become materially materially minded it is a disgrace to behave like a discontented mortal when you are made in god's image and when you are immortal when immortals behave like mortals they experience the changes of joy sorrow and indifference in their natures this is why you must you must destroy this grafted nature of changeability in your unchangeable nature of joy and when you have found your own nature of unchangeable joy you will be able to enjoy everything either pleasant or disagreeable with your unchangeable indestructible joy your joy will stand unshaken amid the crash of breaking earthly pleasures